Hello, uh, welcome to my presentation. Uh, my name is Bojan Štrbac. I'm a master student at the Faculty of Technical Sciences in Novi Sad, Department for Computer Engineering and Communications. Also, I work for RTIK Automotive Company from Novi Sad. Uh, beside me, the authors of this paper are Marko Gostović and Željko Lukač, also from Faculty of Technical Sciences and RTRK Institute and Dragan Samadzija from Nokia Bell Labs, based in Holmdale, USA. Uh, topic of our work is YOLO multi-camera object detection and distance estimation. The motivation for this paper uh, came from the idea of replacing the LiDAR with cameras as much cheaper sensors uh, for usage in autonomous vehicles, uh, for example, algorithm for adaptive cross control, maybe. Besides that, uh, we also consider that this algorithm can find his place in connectivity between vehicles and infrastructures. Uh, you can see this image. Uh, it illustrates a system where the device-to-device, -device, vehicle to everything connectivity and edge computing implement a hyper-connected cyber-physical environment, which can be very important for future 5G systems. Uh, for example, cameras that are placed on lamp posts, traffic lights and buildings are distributing video information to neighbor traffic participants and this would enable uh, vehicles to detect presence of potential obstacle even before uh, they can directly see them. Also, uh, the second bullet point uh, that is on this slide is related to state of the art. Well, today's distance estimation algorithms for autonomous driving mostly use radars and lidars. Uh, these sensors have proven uh, to be accurate, but not affordable in lower class vehicles. And because of that, we tried to create initial real-time solution uh, that uses cameras for, and for now, uh, works on PC and gives acceptable results regarding distance estimations. Okay, uh, now we can move to the next slide. Uh, this slide gives general overview of all algorithms uh, that have been used uh, for implementation of our work. Uh, first one is YOLO version 3, algorithm for detecting and localizing objects in the pictures. Uh, we choose YOLO because of his speed. Uh, he is considered as one of the fastest detectors today. Accuracy of YOLO is very high as well, especially in, in his newest third version, where he's, where he's significantly upgraded detection of small objects. Uh, next one, uh, we should also mention stereoscopy vision. Stereoscopy is a technique uh, used to create or improve illusion of picture depth. It is the essential part of the algorithm that is presented in this paper. Uh, you can see uh, on the right picture all important parameters uh, for stereoscopy-based distance estimation. SL and SR uh, represent two cameras, uh, which are at distance B from each other. Uh, phi zero represents cameras, presents cameras field of view. Uh, this distance of the object uh, that we estimate. X zero represent, represents the number of horizontal pixels of the picture. X one and X two are the numbers of pixels between the midpoint of the object boundary box horizontal edge and the left edge, left edge of the picture. Also, you can see equation for the calculation on below. And the biggest challenge regarding stereoscopy uh, was to calibrate the cameras appropriately and to precisely choose pixels for the calculations in order to get pictures that can be used afterwards. Uh, cameras need to be accurately installed, otherwise uh, large deviations can occur, possibly endangering traffic safety. Additionally, if the objects uh, whose distance is being estimated is far away, and the estimation error will be larger. You can see on the bottom image, uh, good calibration is on top and the errors are in the middle and the bottom place. And now we can go to the slide about our implementation. Uh, here uh, you can see block scheme of entire algorithm. And in the next slide, of, uh, next slide, all of the steps will be explained more precise. 
Uh, we have two cameras uh, which obtain uh, two video streams. First block is YOLO algorithm. Uh, two video streams go to YOLO where objects uh, will be detected. After that, detections go to the block for stereoscopy, processing and distance calculating. And final outcome of the algorithm are the same two video streams, but with boundary boxes and distances added. And now uh, let's go to the detailed explanation. Uh, here we have three bullet points, uh, three significant steps. First one is to prepare both pictures for your object detections and perform classification of the objects on those pictures. After this step, uh, the output are two arrays with the detections from the both pictures. Uh, the second step is to find objects which appear in both picture detection arrays and to precisely determine x1 and x2 parameter, which are explained before. This step is, I would say, most complicated one, but we have three criteria and here they come. The first one, both objects must be from the same class, for example, car, pedestrian, truck, etc. Uh, second criteria is uh, objects from the right picture must be closer to the left edge of the picture the, the same object found in the left picture. You can see that on this slide. Uh, left picture presents objects, which is, I would say, on the center of the picture. But if you take a look on the right picture, you can see that the same object is uh, closer to the left edge than the object on the left picture. And that is what we are looking for. And the final criteria is about the size of boundary boxes. Uh, as the object is photographed with the same cameras that are shifted horizontally, vertical edges of the boundary boxes from the same object on different pictures should not be different. Uh, furthermore, in terms of horizontal edges, deviations could be minimal. I don't know, less than 5%, I think. And for this criteria, we use minimal mean square error algorithm. And the final step of entire algorithm is to just to calculate the distance when we obtained all the parameters we need. The calculation by itself is not so complicated. Uh, now we can go to the results and testing. Uh, uh, we had two types of tests. The uh, first one of them is when the objects are close to the cameras, up to two meters. And we use this test case to confirm that the algorithm provides accurate results in the idealized conditions with all prerequisites satisfied. Uh, the algorithm gives very good results during this test scenario. All outputs were precise boundary boxes, which results in very good distance estimation. We, we set up two model cars such that one is closer to the cameras than another. You can see that uh, this on the picture, green one is closer, closer. and uh, we measured distances manually. For the green car, it was 0 0.84 meters, and for the yellow, it was 104 meters. And uh, now you can see that our algori algorithm has the average error of 4%, 3, 3 or 2 centimeters per object. Uh, furthermore, uh, what if the same object is not detected in both pictures? What we're doing? Well, uh, algorithm cannot estimate its distance and the output will be no information. In our case, uh, you can see that the chair and the plant are not detected in the bottom picture. And because of that, there is outcome with no information label. Next test scenario is when the object was far from cameras, about 10 plus meters, and uh, we have real cars and real traffic situations in here. Uh, the car was positioned at three different distances, 10, 20, and 30 meters. 
Also, the distance between cameras was, was tested with the goal to determine the optimal distance B. Uh, results of the measurement are given in the following table, and you can see the actual outcomes are in the meters. The sine x in the table means that the YOLO algorithm did not detect the objects in at least one picture, or that the error of the estimation was, I would say, greater than 50%. Uh, from these results in this table, uh, it can be concluded that YOLO is not reliable for long distances and for small objects. It gives very imprecise boundary boxes that, partic that is particularly noticeable when car is 30 meters away. You can see that the majority of results were axes. And unlike in the 30 meter case, for 10 and 20 meters, results are acceptable. In the best case, uh, when parameter was B was 20 centimeters and distance D was 10 meters, error was only 4%, which is very good, and we are considered that as a successful outcome. And that's it for our test results. Now you can see a few more pictures for our outcomes. A left one uh, presents the outcome from the algorithm when the objects were close, and this test is this, this test case is when one object of the same class class are or the same object of or the another object of that same class. You can see here, and the outcome is like before uh, no information for not for objects which is not on both pictures and the right one presents the real test case scenario uh, real traffic real car and you can see that there is an outcome with distance estimated 10.1 meters and i think that actual distance is 10 meters which is very very good and finally, to summarize what has been done in this paper, well, I presented one possible way to use cameras instead of much expensive leader, LIDARs. Extensive testing confirmed that our algorithm could be useful for distance estimation within 20 meters. This algorithm could be used for some other applications, such as, I don't know, application for adaptive cruise control, automatic parking, and so on. Uh, uh, regarding test scenarios, when the object was more than 20 meters away from the camera, problem occurs mostly because of unprecise YOLO boundary boxes. Every pixel of error causes significant deviation in terms of the measurement accuracy. And because of that, our future work will be based on the more accurate detector for more precise results, especially for long distances. Also, code optimization can bring faster algorithm, which can result with work in real time and uh, more FPS. And last but not least, uh, one of our goals is to deploy our solution on the automotive platform. That's it. Now we can go on the questions. Uh, first one is, uh, can you reflect on the utilization of LIDARs in the future autonomous vehicle deployment developments? and can it be avoided to replace it by cameras? Uh, well, in my opinion, cameras will be able to totally replace LIDARs in the near future. Um, the main reason for that is that artificial intelligence algorithms mostly use visual sensors, and they are increasingly represented in the automotive industry. Uh, with every new conference, we have more and more papers related to camera usage in automotive ADAS algorithms, and I think that AI algorithms are the future, and that's it. Uh, second one question is, can you comment uh, on the performance and the power consumption related problems, which may occur at the deployment uh, targets for your specific YOLO-based solution? Uh, well, I think that YOLO can be the problem uh, because uh, YOLO is very demanding algorithm 
in terms of processing power and I don't know I believe that maybe good code optimization will help but how much I don't know it will be fun to find out in our future work that's it from me thank you so much for your time and I hope that we will see again in the future thank you so much